here, so 1825, we have this substance, calcium fluoride. We have the concentration, it's given in ppm. We want to know this concentration. They're saying it's, uh, so the key words here are it's saturated in calcium fluoride. That's chapter 18's way to say it's in equilibrium. So, once you find that out, you'll find out it's a fairly straightforward problem. The Really, that part, find, figuring out it's an equilibrium from the word saturated, and converting this for maybe the one or two of you who forgot what PPM is. Converting this to a, a unit you can use, molarity, uh, is the painful part. So what you do is you say, well, calcium, we need everything in molarity to do what we're trying to do. 115 ppm means there's that many grams of it. Remember, ppm stands for parts per million. So, that many parts, and we're going to take our parts in grams. That many parts for a million grams. So, this is uh, the calcium for a million grams of solution. So, what we want to do is convert this. Uh, to molarity, that's moles on top, liters on the bottom. To do moles, you go over to your periodic table and just convert to moles as 40.08 grams per mole, because this is of calcium. So you just multiply. Other, the key part to get this in liters is in the question, it says it's a particular water sample that's saturated with this stuff. Well, they're basically saying use the density of water to convert this to liters. So you have to know that it's one gram per milliliter for the density of water or the, basically the solution density. This is the density of water, D of water. Again, you know that if it's an aqueous solution and they don't tell you the density, just use the density of water. They're assuming when you see aqueous that you know it's mostly water. Uh, we're working, we spike all the problems so you're working at very low uh, concentrations. Okay. Uh, that's not good enough, that's in milliliters, so we need a thousand milliliters per liter. This is going to turn out to be 2.87 times 10 to the minus 3. And this again is calcium concentration. Well, since it's e equilibrium, you're pretty set. Uh, if you can't imagine it, I encourage you to write out the reaction. So if that doesn't kind of sit in your brain, already you need more practice, please write it out. And you need to write out the substance, just like we've been doing already, goes to the aqueous phase. There's your KSP reaction. This has a particular KSP, which again you'd look up. Uh, let me see, it's listed here as 5.3 times 10 to the minus 9. So you could have looked that up. I think the question did not give that value to you. Now here's the big thing that could mess you up. Do I use the ice table at this point? No. No, why not? It's an equilibrium. Yeah, it's an equilibrium. So please don't use the ice table if you're at equilibrium. That would be horrible. So, all you do is go KSP equals calcium 2 plus times fluorine minus squared. Remember to square it because there's two fluorine minuses. KSP, I'll do this in a different color. You got that value, you just looked it up. Calcium, it's right there. You looked that up, or you didn't look it up, you converted from PPMs to molarity. 
And what they asked for was fluorine. And of course, that's the only thing you don't have, so you solve for fluorine. The answer is, in this case, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 3. So we need to factor that 1.4. They want you to convert that back to ppm. So when you convert back to ppm, it turns out to be 27. Going backwards? Yeah, because I'm not getting that right. Okay, so what you do is take this number, I'm going to erase the top. Sort of. No, I'm going to erase, yeah, I'm going to erase the very top. You do exactly the opposite of what you started with. So you go 1.4 times 10 to the minus 3. Molar. So this is, when do you learn PPM? Like chapter 13, I think. 13.1 or 13.2. What you do, that's moles per liter. Get rid of the liters to go to milliliters. So you basically write all these upside down. So liters, or this is moles per liter. Liters for 1,000 milliliters. And now you're at moles per milliliter. Then use the solution density. But I'm going to use it upside down. One gram for every one milliliter. Now I'm at moles per grams of solution. I just got to change this. And now, I can't use this number because this is calcium. I need to look at my periodic table and find it for fluorine. 19. Uh, so we got 19 grams per mole. And that's supposed to equal 27. Is that okay?